YouTube, what's up y'all? It's your favorite guy online, Hybrid. Alright, so today we're going to do a reaction of from Levy the Poet. Alright, and before we begin, feel free to like and share and subscribe. Okay, if you want to support the stream and the channel, feel free to just simply visit my store. Uh, take a, Grab a, yourself a t-shirt. A sweater or anything that you want to just you know represent your favorite guy online if you want to just support the page if you want to support the channel go ahead and drop by my um, buy me a coffee and just grab me a couple pizzas they only a dollar each all right and you know just enjoy the show we're gonna do Carl Sagan's smoking chair by Levy the poet all right uh, if you have any ideas of what this is about save your comments until after the video and then yeah, just leave it as that. Let's enjoy this video. Let's go. It's my first blind reaction of watching this video. This is the, actually the most recent video according to, I, to what I see from Levy the Poet as per recording this. So this was about six months ago. Let me take a look here. Uh, yeah, about six months ago, October 17, 2020. And we're going to take a look at it now. Let's go. <laughs> through the windows when the phone rang and time slowed the way the dust hangs in his rays when the room is still enough for you to see it i always loved watching those fragments of old stars memories of explosions that float in the air like both a foreshadowing and an embrace as warm as autumn saying you'll make it through after your heart can no longer stomach the torture or the way the pain always expands to a weight that collapses on itself when gravity betrays the attraction of youth for the undress of age you'll be able to breathe again the thing is there's no bridge for bypassing crucifixion down the hallway every ringing scream beat the truth in and the rotary dial shook on its axis like my pale blue dot spun out of control and exposed as no less broken than the same motes of hope that spoke from their silence like a prophecy ma'am are you sitting down I thought about life and man and assembly in my rib cage and sleep and watch the spotlight move upward with the sun descending and all of the particles that we weren't made of maddeningly understanding like they were right about the news and taunting like anything could happen with the right set of lungs breathing into this room. I sat in the quiet imagining you heard the same sound despite how loud your mind always was. What ifs are deafening questions. The sun had just begun to come through the windshield when my whole field of vision became a prism system. And in a flash as long as a life sentence before my eyes, I had hope that maybe you would come to remember me as fascinating as every star. What's monochromatic as ours, whose death gave birth to memories as colorful as this spectrum. It's shown as if to say she'll forgive you. After searching the night and every dust cloud in her telescope, or the empty rooms in your home, and collapsing into your scent like the moments you'd come in late with the night's chill still clinging to the leather jacket she used to latch onto, like one day she might not be able to feel you beneath it. She'll be able to love again. The thing is, there's no bridge for bypassing crucifixion. The phone sang its pitch as loud as our collision And the car flipped like a pale blue top Spun beyond the reach of its sunbeam Suspended in time Like if it's relative I've got enough to get this out My love, are you sitting down? No matter how small a speck we are Floating in some empty living room You are still a world to me And I will expect to see you at peace With the debris that I return to in your afternoons Like the glimmer of old stars no matter how dead they are, 
knowing that each and every piece was once a prelude to our eternal somethings who already knew the news. Anything could happen with the right set of lungs breathing into this room. What ifs are deafening questions. She'll learn to love again. So there was a lot to break down there, but from what I can see, from what I can understand, the line that pops out to me is there's no easy route to, that bypasses crucifixion. We all know that Levi the poet, poet has some sort of faith in God. and it is quite obvious that in a lot of his work Jesus and God is a topic and is in, in, in the work that he makes is that it he speaks from a struggle or a point of view where mankind is not doing a well but at the same time like Job, even though he was going through a difficult time, he was able to get through it because he had this this re reverence or reverie towards God. I don't know what the word is. Right. I don't know if I'm using the right word or using it properly. But he has this acknowledgement towards God that regardless of what he's going through, regardless of what I'm facing, God is in control. And in the context of this poem or spoken word Carl Sagan's Smoking Chairs you hear a lot of the wordplay about driving in a car crashing the car but there's also um, talk about being stuck inside of a room and one of the biggest lines here that got me was it was about what kind of lungs are breathing into the room See, when God made Adam, he did not just make him out of dirt and just formed man. He breathed life into Adam. He breathed his spirit into Adam, giving him life. Now, the devil, he likes to extract that breath. He likes to, he likes to impart his own kind of his own intention, his evil, his hate, his anger. Now, it's obvious that this smoking chair is like a symbol that you see it in movies and it's kind of like cliche that before someone makes a, makes a decision or before they carry out a plan, they're sitting in a chair and they're either smoking a cigar or doing something like drinking a, a, a glass of whiskey or something but they're sitting in a chair and in most cases they're just probably smoking just to cool off their nerves or whatever right but here's the thing when you are in that place when you're about to carry something out whether it's trying to fix a relationship, fix yourself, or try to amend things with somebody. What is your thought process before all this? How do you do how do you work it out? How do you process this entire thing? And it's just like just like here. Like when God's br uh, breathed life into Adam, and when the devil took that breath away, When you are in a struggle, when you're sitting alone and you're trying to determine or process what route of action you should take in doing anything, 
Are you going to take the route that gives you life? Or are you going to take the route that takes away? And even though the route that takes away seems enticing, it seems easier, you can relieve that anger, that, that stress, or that pain, again, there's no bypassing crucifixion. And that's, that's the thing. We cannot escape the fact that if you have God in your life, you cannot escape the fact that you are saved according to God's grace. And even though the, the, the route of you taking or doing something that is not glorifying to God and it is just taking away from the relationship you have with God, Remember, vengeance is the Lord's, not yours. If you are having trouble with addiction or trying to, or with an attitude of yours or an attitude of someone else's, again, God is in control, not you. Learn to receive the breath from the Lord and carry out, you know. I don't know much about Carl Sagan, right? I, I walked into this blindly. If you have any ideas or thoughts, feel free to put that in the comment section below because I am totally open to suggestion. Educate me, even. And if you want to have, you know, more conversation with me, feel free to drop on my Twitch. Um, that The link is in the description. Join the games. Join the fun. Join the conversations. Um, I'm trying to build a community where we all grew up together. So if you're inspired or if you're aspiring to become a content creator, you want to stream or you want to do videos, feel free to follow me on Twitch, follow me here on YouTube, subscribe and like the video, and let's just get acquainted. You know, I would like to help people uh, start a passion that they either want to pursue or never knew they had. So, yeah. Uh, if you like the video, again, like, subscribe, share this with somebody. Um, and if you, again, if you have any thoughts, please let me know in the comment section below. All right. If you want to support the channel, the streams that I do, and everything else, feel free to drop my store, take a look at my uh, support page, do whatever the hell you want there. The links are in the description. And yeah, I just hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Um, this is the last video of the week. I'll be doing um, another set next week. Um, I really need suggestions. I really hope that uh, your input is something that I can look forward to. And yeah, just enjoy the rest of your day. Hybrid out. God bless. Bye bye.